A long time overdue, but in this video, we're building our own Sergeant Castus. Hey what is up, it's Wayne here and welcome back to Dark Circus Miniatures. Now for those who don't know or need a reminder, back in late September this year, Sergeant Castus was a limited edition model uh, to commemorate 1 million customers online on the Games Workshop website. This model was uh, essentially given out for a limited time with every order over 150 pounds. Now uh, that doesn't sound too bad and if you're already spending that much it is a nice little add-on to have uh, for your purchase. But for those who just wanted the model and uh, not have to go through a paywall for it, it was a bit of a letdown. And uh, for those Australian customers like myself, it was an uh, even bigger letdown as for some reason 150 pounds didn't really translate to around the usual 270 to 280 Australian dollars in GW's eyes, but uh, we Australians had to break the paywall of uh, 420. So essentially we had to pay $420 to get one free Primaris Sergeant. Yeah, no, nah, that's not happening. And in this video, I'll show you how you only really have to spend $120 and uh, all you have to really do is pick up the Warhammer 40,000 Elite Edition box set. Now, this will have 27 models and all the parts to make this one exclusive miniature. Now, with the parts sourced from just one box set, the three sprues needed are the Necron Warriors, the Primaris Assault Intercessors, uh, Primaris Captain, and a 50mm base from a Scorp Tech Destroyer. To build the base for my sergeant, I started with a detailed base topper found in the Primaris Captain sprue, so I clipped off the studs at the bottom and glued it to the center of the 50mm base from the Scorp Tech Destroyer. I then chose an intercessor body which Sergeant Castus will be built from, and after clipping off and cleaning the arm joints, I then glued a choice of chainsaw arm on his uh, left hand and uh, moved on to the plasma pistol. Now you can use the plasma pistol arm that is currently available with the robo hand, but I felt like using uh, an outstretched aiming arm which is more similar to his original sculpt. I then cleaned up a spot for Sergeant Castus to stand on the decorative base and I glued him down and then glued on his plasma pistol arm once it had dried. I then proceeded with his power pack and then head. At this point I'm all ready to now detail the remainder of the base and uh, first of all I add some plastic rock debris and then I started to work on the necrons uh, so they can be added to the base. The necrons require a quick clip and bend to have some of them pose nicely on the base themselves. The arms I had their uh, gorse rifles removed and cleaned up before attaching them to the torso. Once everything was glued in place I proceeded to add some sand uh, just to bring it all together and I like using super glue to apply my sand to bases. Once sanded, I added the final cherry on top by adding some decorations to his armor, and this included some purity seals and some battle damage to show that Sergeant Castus is uh, getting some wear and tear from these Necron warriors. And there you have it, Sergeant Castus in all his glory without breaking the bank. So be sure to check out next week's video as I'll show you how I paint him up in all his Ultra Smurf glory. And if you enjoyed this video, please click like and share this with your friends and also subscribe. For alerts on future videos, be sure to hit that bell notification icon. Uh, you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram to find out what I've been working on throughout the week. And to also further support the channel, you can also become a Dark Circus Miniatures patron. And just for a few dollars a month, you can help keep these videos coming. Uh, for all these fun things, I'll have these links in the video description below. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.